Well, good morning, Beaver Dam. It is Pastor Owen coming to you live from Beaver Dam and Rousey's Chapel. And today is Thursday, October the 27th. And what a beautiful fall day we have here in Beaver Dam. The sun is shining, the leaves are beautiful colors and falling off the trees, and we can definitely see God's activity in our lives. Well, this is a time where we gather Monday through Thursday to read some scripture together, to spend some time in prayer, and, uh, and to listen to uh, some devotional words from John Wesley from our daily devotional book entitled Renew My Heart. So uh, why don't we go ahead and, and delve into some text. If you happen to be joining us live or throughout the day, I invite you to uh, drop us a line there in the comment box. Let us know that you, that you, that you watch. Love to hear your thoughts. And uh, if this uh, devotion happens to speak to you in a, in a special way, I invite you to hit that like and share button right there on Facebook so that others can also uh, hear, the, hear the, the inspiring words. I hope they're inspiring anyway. So um, let's go ahead and delve into some scripture today. Today's reading is um, Psalm 54, since we're working our way through the Psalms. And then we've got a piece from uh, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 8. So uh, let's delve into the text. Psalm 54 is a Psalm of David's, and I'm reading this from the Common English Bible this morning. So uh, let's delve into the text. God, save me by your name. Defend me by your might. God, hear my prayer. Listen to the words of my mouth. The proud have come up against me. Violent people want me dead. They pay no attention to God. But look, God is my helper. My Lord sustains my life. He will bring disaster upon my opponents. By your faithfulness, God, destroy them. I will sacrifice to you freely. I will give thanks to your name, Lord, because it's so good and because God has delivered me from every distress. My eyes have seen my enemies defeat. Wow, some pretty good words this morning for sure, for sure. So uh, let's delve into our, our gospel lesson. And we've been looking at... Um, the parable of the sower and how the seeds are thrown on uh, the hardened path, the rocky soil, and then uh, then the good soil. And this today we're looking at the explanation of the parable. So we're taking a look at this from uh, the the version that shows up in the Gospel of Luke, and this is chapter eight, verses eleven through fifteen. And this is Jesus speaking. The parable means this, the seed is God's word. The seed on the path are those who hear, but then the devil comes and steals the word from their hearts so they won't believe and be saved. The seed on the rock are those who receive the word joyfully when they hear it, but they have no root. They believe for a while, but fall away when they are tempted. As for the seed that fell among thorny plants, these are the ones who, as they go about their lives, are choked out by the concerns, riches, and pleasures of life, and their fruit never matures. The seed that fell on good soil are those who hear the word and commit themselves to it with a good and upright heart. Though, though they resolve, they bear fruit. All right, some good words this morning. So uh, let's spend some time in uh, prayerful reflection over the text. And as we do, I'll invite you to, to focus on hearing these different translations of verse 15. So let's go to the Lord in prayer this morning. Let us pray. From the Common English Bible, the seeds that fell on Good soil are those who hear the word and commit themselves to it with a good and upright heart. Though they resolve, they bear fruit.
from the King James Version. But that on the good ground are they, which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. from the New Revised Standard Version. But as for that in the good soil, these are the ones who, when they hear the word, hold fast an honest and good heart and bear fruit with endurance. from the New Living Translation. And the seeds that fell on the good soil represent honest, good-hearted people who hear God's word, cling to it, and patiently produce a huge harvest. Amen. Amen. Really enjoying the New Living Translation this morning. I really like the way they uh, translate that piece of scripture. So we've been using uh, the Renew My Heart uh, daily devotion. And uh, the one for today is entitled Good Ground, Hearers and Doers of the Word. And it is based on uh, this verse 15 from chapter 8. Listen to these words. Those who keep the good word have avoided the deficiencies of rich, the deceitfulness of riches deceitful indeed for they make they smile and betray put out the eyes and harden the heart and steal away all life from god and the soul filling it with pride anger love and love of the world it makes men and women enemies of to the whole cross of Christ. Yet all the while, riches are eagerly desired and vehemently pursued, even by those who believe there is a God. One who receives seed on the good ground is the one who hears the word, considers it, and keeps it with perseverance. The ground is soft, not like that by the wayside, deep, not like that on stony ground, and purged, not like full, full of thorns. In this parable, Jesus told the ground bore fruit, some a hundred fold, some sixty, some thirty. It was in various proportions, some abundantly more than others, but all were fruitful hearers of the word, because when they heard the word, they considered it. St. Paul wrote to Timothy, Meditate on these things, that by profiting may appear in all things. True meditation is faith, hope, love, and joy melted down together by the fine fire of God's Holy Spirit and offered up to God in secret. And he closes today with, uh, Lord, may we consider and be fruitful. <laughs> I really like uh, I like this this last part here. True meditation is faith, hope, and love and joy, melted down together by the fire of God's Holy Spirit, and offered up to God in secret. <laughs> really good words. 
You know, I'm struck today by the thought of how much fruit we yield when we hear, consider, and keep the Word of God. The fruit that we're talking about here are things like love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, and self-control. And I wonder, are there different amounts of yield dependent on our faithfulness? I guess they could be, but I really think that the amounts of the fruit that we display have nothing to do with our faithfulness. I think it has to do more with what God desires for us. For you see, God desires for us to listen to his word, to meditate on it, and to pursue what it teaches. And I think that when we earnestly do this, we are given the gift of fruit, given in the amounts that we need at that time that we're facing in our lives, not necessarily what we want. So it can be at times a 30-fold or a 60-fold or a 100-fold display of the fruit that we received. Just uh, my ponderings on this particular text. I hope, uh, I hope you've enjoyed our time together. I would love to hear your comments and feedback on, uh, on what, we've, uh, what we've shared there. And uh, today is Thursday, so we will gather again on Monday for our time of reflections. But uh, I hope to see you in worship before then, either at uh, 8 o'clock right here on Facebook or at uh, 9.30 at Rousey's or 11 o'clock at Beaverdam. But for now, let us, uh, let's close with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Gracious God, we do want to be hearers of your word. We do want to meditate on your word and, and find out what it means for us. Let your word speak to us today. Let it linger in our hearts. Let it become who we are so that we can bear the fruit that you have for us. The fruit of love and joy and kindness and peace. God, we're just so thankful for all of the blessings that you pour out upon us. And God, we ask that you uh, just be with us. Let us feel your presence. Let us see your activities in your lives. And God, we ask that you also inspire and guide us and encourage us to be the hands and feet of your love here on earth. God, we raise this prayer to you this morning in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, friends, remember that this is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Go in peace, y'all. Bye for now.